guys, Neuro Rebel here, and the Wiener Dog, <gasps> and the Wiener Dog, yes, okay, so can you be quiet while I talk in the video, can you be a good boy, let's see if you'll be a good boy, uh, and so I was diagnosed autistic just before turning 30, and I went, you know, a good portion of my life not knowing, well, I knew, I knew I was different, and I knew I experienced the world in a different way, but I just kind of thought I was a freak, or a weirdo, uh, or nobody would get it. And then when I was diagnosed autistic, I realized, oh my gosh, a lot of these experiences are very common for other autistic people. And there's something really comforting about that. I should say uh, that every autistic person is different and every autistic person's experience is very unique um, but there are just a, some things that are very common or are almost nearly universal uh, when you start to interact with other autistic people and it's just been magical so I make videos because I was diagnosed and then when I went on the internet after I had been reading the words autistic people and I googled autism what I found was in contradiction to you know the voices of autistic people and it was very gloom and doom and really terrible and there was just so many myths like autistic people don't have empathy uh, and things like that just really terrible things uh, and I didn't want to accept it because I knew it wasn't true and so I started my blog to correct some of the misinformation and to share and teach about autism and neurodiversity and I haven't talked about neurodiversity yet so in this video I want to quickly just explain what neurodiversity is uh, so in nature you know there is diversity biodiversity diversity of species diversity in the genetic gene pool these things are generally thought of as good things and natural you know diversity in business even now stat statistics and business owners are starting to realize that companies that have more diverse employees are more successful because it brings more you know types of ideas and thinking to the table and neurodiversity is brain diversity and thinking style diversity. So this includes autism, ADHD, uh, and you know some other um, things uh, would be included in neurodiversity. It's not just autism. I want to just make sure that is clear. Uh, and it says you know these other uh, types of thinking are also valid, and they are just natural shades in humanity. And we should treat people who have different thinking styles uh, with respect and help empower them to be the very best versions of themselves. And that's neurodiversity in a nutshell. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my quick, short, summarized autism video. If you enjoy them, please subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you will be notified when the next one comes out. I will talk to you later. Bye.